but I don't think mine's loud enough, but that's okay. Tyler's peeking. Mine just, needs to, be, mine just needs to be loud. Tyler's peeking we're, what? We're live. We're peaking, live. Peeking at something, I guess. Like it's we're sticking live. out. <laughs> we're live. We're tuning in the audio. What's up, guys? We got like 100 people in here already. Yeah, we got So we I'm got not going to say hi the to chat all of you. Is popping. Apparently, they're all broke and want to hear the secrets. I well, will say hello to God Family Cars Beer Me because that's a fantastic name. Yep. What? Who? God oh. Family Cars Beer Me. Yeah. He's been commenting on all our videos. Yeah. Nice. Finally made it to a live stream. That is a pretty solid yep. username. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there's a lot of people here because this is a very relatable topic. Yeah. Because we're all broke. Is that because we unfortunate or is it like camaraderie? Yeah, I th- can't I, really decide. I think. Oh, there's camaraderie to it. Por qué no los dos? <laughs> yeah. See. I mean, us normal car modders don't get along with the dudes who can drop a hundred k on a Lambo because well they have money. Yeah. So I am not friends with anyone that owns. Lambo. I am not either. Uh, but yeah, if you can't read I, and didn't I, I read, I kind of know one guy though. Today's Lambo. podcast. Oh. I, I used to be even a race, like with the cold. Well, back see, then, then so you're not on the same level. You Gallardo. are above him. <laughs> I said you are above him. <laughs> Come on, turn my sound down. Uh, Wait a second, <laughs> Jason. I would disagree with buying a car that's oh, already yeah. modded. Well, hold on, hold on, hold because on, then you don't hold know. On, hold on. Yeah, don't. Let, let's get into that topic uh, yeah, yeah, when yeah, we yeah. actually start talking. So, Trevor, uh, I don't know if my mic is weird or not, but uh, yeah, no, you're fine. Okay, you're good. Uh, yeah, like start us off. I'm glad he made that comment though because we that's, need to go back to it. I, I, yeah, that's I something we can spin off for. Let's a make bit. that. All yeah. right, so Trevor, start us off, and then I think we can make that the first like. Yeah. Talking point. If you haven't figured out by now, we're talking about how to mod a car when you're broke. We'll say without yeah. opening seven credit cards. Yeah, don't or do that. A we do. We don't. Very tight budget. <laughs> I think uh, one, two, think three. Pe- no, two people. You haven't done that. I think two people in here did that. What, bought modded cars? No, no. Oh. Bought, uh, took out credit cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that was school. Though. That's a thing. I didn't open Neither a credit card cars, specifically for car parts, but I did use student loan money to buy HP tuners. Mm. Yeah, I didn't buy any car parts with Hindsight any of my Hindsight being debt. what it is, though, <laughs> was one of the best purchases <laughs> I ever made. <laughs> that's, that's like, I was talking to Charlie Kuhn yesterday, and he has a Colorado, and I was like, man, we are just connecting on so many levels. <laughs> and then we, I was talking about, yep. Uh, <laughs> all this stuff, and I was like, "Yeah." And then I sold it for that stupid focus. But if I wouldn't have had the focus, I would have wouldn't have blown up. I wouldn't have had the cobalt. Wouldn't be here. Everything so, happens for a reason. Yep, Everything things work out. Reason. So yeah, we're all broke. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. Perpetually, <laughs> yeah, perpetually. Uh, yep. Contrary to popular belief, oh, very, nice. very, very often, yeah. I saw customers one, one have this idea comments. that we oh, have like unlimited budgets. <laughs> 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 no, I wish. One we guy in the comments said he, he wasn't broke, and then he got into cars, and now he's perfect. Yes, that's exactly the reason why we're broke. Yes. It is a money thing. pit. Yep. Yeah, I, if anyone wants advice, if you're 18 and you're thinking, man, I really want to save money, don't don't get into cars. Don't do it. Yeah. Just don't save money. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, save right. some. Yeah. you got to be smart. Yeah. I'm going to try to keep us on pass at least remotely. <laughs> so we're talking Good about, luck. Yeah, about <laughs> car modding when you're broke. So there's a lot of different ways we can go about this, and we, I think all of us at this table are going to come from a little bit different perspective, mm-hmm. which yep. is nice. That's why we have a little bit of diversity here. Um, trying to give advice, though. Yeah, trying <laughs> to give advice, yeah. <laughs> so one thing that we saw, uh, I think Jason Star was saying, one easy way to purchase a vehicle already modded. I actually think that is the worst choice you can make for modding a car. He, to an extent. It, I, I agree with you, Yeah, but I understand why... He would say that because yes, there are definitely situations where you find a car modded, oh, yeah. at least similar to how you yes, would want to mod it. That mm-hmm. is true. Sometimes it works out. However, there's always that horror story. And I feel like it happens way more often than once. Right. So that's yeah. one of the branches I wanted to go down with. Yes. Yeah. Because if you get a car that's already modded, and, and here's how I look at it. Anytime someone's mo- selling a modded car, nine times out of ten. I would, I, I'll, I'll be it's that confident. It's probably because it's, it has a problem. A problem. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. always a problem that you then have to, as the next one after that, have to fix. They didn't just get tired of the car all of a sudden because it was doing everything they wanted it to do. Very rarely. I'd case. even go so far as to say, and you'll immediately understand this, it may be a problem that the owner doesn't even know. Yeah. That's because also very true. Mod mm-hmm. car guy. Yep. Yep. Car you, thing. you, without realizing it, immediately adapt to little quirks and issues. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're nothing. They're literally nothing mm-hmm. to yep. you. But someone else gets in drive the car like, what the, the heck world? is a hunk of crap? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you just got to do this and this. What do you mean I got to do that? Well, yeah. 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 yeah that's just what you do. It, yeah. It's a quirk with modding your car. Yeah. <laughs> but like like someone just said in the, in the chat, modding car, you, you're buying other, someone else's problems yeah. sometimes. 
Yeah, like my ion for years b- before when I was still on the F thirty five had to go to re- uh, fourth before you go to reverse. Yeah, would not go in reverse unless you went fourth reverse. Which to you wasn't a problem because it, you it knew what to muscle do. Muscle memory, I knew yeah. exactly what to do. But yeah. then you go to sell the car, and the new buyer first thing goes to back it out of the spot. I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, what's going yeah. on? One of my F thirty fives, he had to go to second to go to first. Yeah, that yep. makes sense. Yeah. Yep, yeah. to go to yeah. first. Yeah, yeah, second. Well, they're first. on the same cluster pack, yeah. so uh, it stops the shafts from rotating, and you can yep. yeah, two one. Back <laughs> but so. Uh, on on the buying another person's mod car. Say it's the only time he could hit second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we, we, we made it eight minutes. <laughs> eight wow. minutes. Wow. Tyler. So yeah, you're I looking at. You, I, you know, it's all right. Uh, <laughs> you're looking at an LSJ, let's say, and you know that you don't want to mess around with the blower. You want to make some real power, so you find one with a turbo kit on it already. Cool. You're already. More red of the flags. way there because a turbo kit can be so expensive. And mm-hmm. you can either buy a red line for 3000 or buy one with a turbo kit for 5000 So there you go. You saved your two grand. But well, it's and what happens being after an LSJ, that. as long as it was tuned appropriately, it should be probably safe. fine. Yeah. Maybe. Well, but well, if the I mean, post says okay, there are a just lot of needs a tune. <laughs> Do oh, not, yeah, that, don't do that. that. <laughs> there are a lot of bad tuners out there. There are also several good ones. I mean, I'm not one to to take credit of away course. from someone just because they're a competitor. Yeah. So yeah. as long as it's been taken care of, we know that that bottom end, like mm-hmm. say someone has, if someone was selling a, an LSJ that had been at 500 for a couple of years, I'd it's be fine with fine. that. Yeah. And I'll see, I, I think I'm the opposite though, because I would be, because what happens a lot of times in my opinion, especially when buying a used car that's super highly modified like that, is that you get, especially because they're selling it for more, selling for a reason. There's a lot of people like, oh, I'll just do this to make this work for now, and then they just never fix it. Ah, yes, yeah. that's one of my favorite so, things. So okay. temporary <laughs> solutions become permanent <laughs> solutions if you yeah. ignore them long enough. <laughs> yes. So I'm not gonna call any names, but this happened recently too, and this guy got duped, and I pulled to his face. He got duped. You know what I'm about to say? Oh about. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had a customer who recently bought an L and F. Um, a bl- Started a off wrong. <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> Bing bong. Possibly, depending on if you have bad taste or not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then he got the car for ten grand. First of all, too much. Too much. Guy said it had a built engine. Okay, hot, that's, that's another thing. If you say built someone engine, built it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whether it's the machine. It's not in box. GM. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. It's like, oh, it's built for five fifty. Do you know that? You never really know if you actually get into that. Yeah, Number really. two, he was like, oh yeah, it has a this intercooler on it. Yeah, Ethan Vink, we were waiting for you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't said anything for ten yeah. minutes. So uh, then he got. It said it had all these parts, and I went through the car. I'm like, there has none of these parts. It says it has. Ooh. So yeah. he ended up getting a car for ten k. Don't have a crash bar. Like it's just whooped together. And it everything came apart on the car, so we have to literally start a hundred percent over, like buy, rebuy all the mods, and it, and he spent too much on the car, so he's already in the hole and not modding with the budget. Yeah, I it definitely can go bad. I yes. I would, if I were to make a blanket statement for buying a car, would be start out stock. I agree. I would it, the closer to stock you can get, I I feel that that's a better choice. And it and it gives you that satisfaction of building it from, from nothing. The ground up, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, my first ion was a complete pile of garbage. But when I bought it, it I mean it was a blower car, but it had a Gen three bottom end and, you know, it had a smaller pulley and I it had a stage three heat exchanger. So I'm like geared up. I'm like, oh man, this thing's gonna be sweet. And then yeah, it was just a pile of garbage and yep. I had to fix a bunch of stuff and, and then I broke slow. more. And it was really, really slow. That car made less on a two nine pulley than my yeah. Blue car made on a stock pulley. So. Uh, Corey, that's not true. Mm-hmm. LNFs did have a high rise option. Anyway, continue. Yeah, like ninety five percent of them. Yeah, uh, right? no, no, it's like the most of them came up the low rise. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, most most LNFs were the low rise. Yeah, which Weird. looks dumb. <laughs> Everything I do, I, I is you know, it, it was yeah, okay. <laughs> it was not that, but okay. So buying used car. Let's see. Um, so who is more in favor of buying a used car that's modded or stock? I'm for buying a more stock used. Car. I, I'd go stock. Yeah. It's, just it's just a, because it's a it's a I bigger can't really gamble. Answer. It's a bigger gamble. Well, no, I mean, I, I, you can't. It's like over under. You can't waffle. <sighs> I'd still buy a modded car. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, right. That's saying that, that's good because th- there's have there's butts though. Like, yeah. But well, one nice thing with buying a modded car is you could, if those aren't the parts you want, you could sell them. Right. Yes. So like, yeah. I know what parts I want. Mm-hmm. I know what to look for in it, the cars yeah. that I'm buying. Like for me. I would be confident researching and going in and buying an already modded car. Mm-hmm. I understand that's not 
the way it's going to work out for a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, I, I think of it for like I'm thinking of it going in as a who, a person who doesn't know the platform a, like a normal we do, consumer. a normal consumer. Yeah. Like, uh, right. Like, say, let's say you were going to go get a BMW M3. Would you know what to look for? Heck no. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I and so I. Since we answered this, I, I would kind of start going down another path. Let's go. Um, you know, there are simple things that you should do at the beginning of modding cars that will help you along the way. And yes. um, shout out Bo Cobb. He told me to mention this. Uh, get some nice tools. They don't mm-hmm. ha- You don't have to buy Snap-on or Gear Wrench or anything fancy. But having a proper tool set and some tools available when your car either breaks or you want to mod it will set you up for better success yes. in the future. Yep. Like Bo Cobb's 301 piece Pittsburgh tool set. Yep. yep. Like 200 bucks. 200 bucks. 200 bucks. 200 bucks and gets you Every, most everything, everything you will need to do most maintenance. Yep. yep. And, and then I would say buy an impact and then uh, you're most of the way there. Torque wrench, sure. Mm-hmm. Yep. But um, I, I guess one thing I'd like to bring up is are what are things that you guys can think of that you did that aren't super cringy that – you could do while you were really broke. Like you have a car, you're yep. ready to mod it and do things with it. And Say it's stock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, well, I, would... I had a Sawzall, but you said <laughs> not cringy. <laughs> not cringy because not cringy. I also cut off the muffler on my Saturn, and uh, it, it was not good. I Saturn made it orders. one mile down the road and turned around <laughs> and clamped that thing back on. I, I am proud of you. Add, yeah, no, th- add lightness. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you you are for weight reduction for modding cheaply. Uh, that's it's th- free. Well, there's always like every single car you get. There's like a three things that affect the car zero percent, even looks or comfort that weigh like ten to fifty pounds. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, on yeah. Every like car. radio, <laughs> gone. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's that Ooh, I spare guess. tire. Okay, that you stupid you, you jack had, in the rear. You yeah. had all the good stuff and then you just threw it all away. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, I hate radios. I, li- I like radios. I, I, I that's what I'm saying. He's, for that. Most new agree. cars come with dumb weights bolted to the bottom <laughs> of suspension and stuff. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, the, the the few things that I do as well, like I make sure, always make sure there's nothing extra in the car, and then I usually will take out only the jack, but I will not take out the spare tire because obviously if I'm are you gonna off, pick it up? Well, you no. Know, usually if I'm, I'm I'm mobbed around with people, so if oh, I'm I, so you made with them. them carry I never leave that, the so. spare tire in it just because. I don't know. I guess if I was going on a road trip, I'd maybe throw another wheel in there. But I, I'm not going to drive around on a Well, on a the funny thing donut. is most people, like most of us, drive lowered cars. And I don't know if you guys have checked, but your donut doesn't normally support a lowered car. <laughs> like oh, I've seen a lot of people point. with low cars, and if they actually tried to put it on, their car is dragging. Oh. oh that's actually a good I point. Because your total of diameter of like it an Yeah, because you're all higher. about that, that static life. <laughs> Yeah. That's actually a good point. I actually never thought of that. Yeah. Um, like the snowball yeah, probably couldn't rock a... Donut. Oh, no. The snowball could absolutely not rock a... a <laughs> I would be gr- dragging side skirt. Mm. Uh, Jake brings up what I was eventually going to get to. Uh, cleaning your car. Yes. Mm. Keeping it clean is near free. Yes. And, N- and not nah. long enough people do it. It yeah. costs time. It Yeah, it costs Shut time. But I got other things to do. Well, yes, I know you. We're, We're talking, talking like about people. <laughs> High school General, kids. Yeah. Yeah. If... <laughs> Your yeah, kids, clean your car. If well, no, but think about <laughs> it. No, no, Even if your right. car's stock and you want to go to wherever your Friday night meet is, and you show up with a friggin' muddy, clapped out S box. S box. Yeah. You know, it, it take ten minutes and wash it, and Get it's gonna make it look that real much tree better. steering wheel cover. Get it out of there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nobody yeah. wants to yeah. see it. No one wants to see. It. You know, that was the only time my car ever did get washed was a handful of times on my way to a meet where yeah. I'd, I'd pull up into the meet still dripping from the, <laughs> the wand blast. But but see, but that's, that proves the point. Yeah. Take pro- so uh, what I what I will totally admit that I, I love that. Like that, having a clean car with nothing aside but a clean interior, that is a really good feeling. Mm-hmm. Like yep. that is a cheap mod. It's yeah. free. It costs you, you a little bit I, of soap and water. Yeah, that's I mean, it. you can go to AutoZone and get your Turtle Wax detail kit for like 20 bucks. Yeah. And so, so cheap. keep your stuff clean. It, it'll make you appreciate it more. Yeah. Uh, but then he brought up painting. Yeah, I was wondering if you're going to catch that painting. Like, that's I want to consider the painting cheap because okay, guys. I'm, I'm a Trevor's fan of plastic dip. Yeah, I'm I'm pro spray paint I plastic am dip. Not, mm-hmm. So I'm, I will say I'm up there. Yeah. I am not a fan of plastic dip. We know be, because 
Plastic dip, I'm sorry, guys. Just opinion-wise, it makes the cars look cheap. It does in like, most situations. Nine up, you like, can not if you squint. You can make it look good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but the, very rarely do people the make the basic plastic look good. black, red, yellow plastic dip that you can buy at the parts stores is not glossy. No, it looks like junk. Like yeah. if you, it looks good from a distance though, just like Ryan. Oh, I look good up close. Dang, yeah, okay. Dang. That's not what Chelsea said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> but I would gather that uh, don't go too far with it because we yeah. see a lot of Grand Prix that will paint everything in the interior. Just because it comes <laughs> off and it's plastic does not mean <laughs> you said to too far. And my mind instantly <laughs> went to that car. Yeah, don't you know it. the one I'm don't pointing at. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say it. Don't say it. <laughs> but um, but no, that is a true thing. Like Cobalt guys do it too. Like guys, you don't need to paint the little bezel around your your gauge cluster. That just yeah, because don't it comes do that. out really easy. Yeah. I'm, it does not look better when you paint it. No, keep so. the, the the silver Mine did, trim. But I painted it wrinkle black. Oh yeah, see that. Well, that's see, fine. but that but not that's that's not usual because everyone what everyone else does they it paint is body, the color. body yeah. color. Yeah, and, and that looks terrible. Absolutely, because it's never right. And I went through four or five different trim paintings <laughs> mm-hmm. on my cobalt until I finally was like, oh, let's just go back to silver. I was let's, thinking let's like valve cover. Yeah, that was yes. what the first thing I thought of. Com- I, we com- were cobalt Jeff Gordon. Um, just so everyone knows, Jeff Gordon will be joining the correct team because he got an LNF to track car. He knows. He is no, he's wrong. LSJ over LNF. Yeah. No, no, he's we were wrong. talking about it. The other- he's a credible source now. He owns both. Yeah, he's experienced both. No, he knows. that's because he's just blind to the fact that his his daily driver is better than his race car. No, <laughs> LSJs are more fun to drive. That's, you are wrong. Ko uh, four versus M sixty two. I hate the KO4. So. No, you don't. <laughs> yes, you, I do. You were, like a what? week ago, you were like, man, KO4 car is so fun to drive. Not in a uh, five-speed. They're not. What? You are wrong. A 382 LNF is amazing. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not anyway, <laughs> besides, besides, without going too far into that, um, back to Mike. You're, you're done lying now? No, no, no I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting patiently. Oh, no, He's convinced himself it's the oh, truth. Okay. Oh, sorry. I mean. Ooh, one thing I just thought of. Instead of pulling your plastics out and spraying them in the interior, just spray them in the car. <laughs> Don't do that. How? <laughs> Done that. Are you on something right now? Turn uh, it down. Probably. Down. Turn it down, down. Take the top dash off and flock it. Ah, yes. I think the flock kit's 30 bucks. Yeah. Uh, 40 <clears throat> Griffin SS, that nice Monte Carlo yeah, that we uh-huh. reposted a couple times. He just flocked his dash Fuck and it. then his, his uh, like the glove box and then the under the steering wheel. Whew. They that when, looks so when good. they are done, they look very yeah. well. I gotta so, look this up again. I forget what so, it means. I always um, forget what that means, and then you get so excited I know what it means, you... but I can never remember what it looks like. So, we talk about doing okay. I, I'll say interior paint is a cheap mod, yeah. Like, you gotta be careful. Like, on the on the cobalt, you do your trim and you do nothing else, mm-hmm. like, not even the door trim. You do the dash trim, like, the you do the one piece, two piece. Stuff around the radio and the long piece. That's it. You yeah. don't do anything more. That's oh, it. it's the fake. But you got to get stuff. the black radios then. Yeah. You yeah. feel like Tyler rolling around no, the silver I know. radios. Hey, he called you out. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure why that popped up. I'm looking like a pleb right now. I got carbon fiber, <laughs> two of the four trim pieces, and then I got silver radio and silver well, HVAC. Oh my God, I've got a new problem? radio and a new HVAC at home oh that are black. God, and, you know. But Okay, so now how about we talk <clears throat> about performance mods for cheap? Like, Ooh, or just yeah. other performance Hold on. mods. I, I, oh, what do you want now? I had another branch off of the first question. Yeah. Okay, go for it. It just kind of flew right out of there. Yeah, because you don't like weird stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> I, when, I, when I answered earlier, and I was, like, answering the way I would, mm-hmm. like, buying a yeah. modded car. But I understand we're looking at this, like, from what uh, the people watching are going to do. Mm-hmm. Plan... Your build, yes. Ah, uh, you. That was literally what I was going to talk about <laughs> next, because that's performance mods. Well, right, but I'm tying it back into the buying a modded car because mm, if it checks the boxes, if it checks the boxes, you save money, mm-hmm. not just from getting used parts, but from not rebuying things. Yes, or mm-hmm. trying to figure it out. Yep, or changing your mind constantly. Yep. I've bought and rebought. <laughs> like, there's been so many different there's versions. Not a single person of at my this car table who has not had not bought and rebought, yeah. rebought something. So I that's bought. probably, in hindsight, the biggest spot where we all could have saved money. Yeah, and yes. where someone could save money going into it. Yes. Don't be, don't be. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Where you do something real fast. 
Impulsive. Like, impulsive, yes. Don't yeah. be impulsive. If you see a part on Craigslist, or, well, not Craigslist anymore, Facebook Marketplace, don't just go and buy it because that's what I did. And you end up with six different suspension setups, and then you're like, oh, wait, I should have just that's exactly what I did too. bought coilovers in the first place. <laughs> but, but to okay, – no, go ahead. Sorry. But for myself, I wouldn't do that any differently because as we've learned – yeah. Me and and you to a large degree don't do this because we're trying to build the car we want. Yeah, we do it because we like building the, the car. experience. The, so the climb, changing mods all the time wasn't so much because I was indecisive, is because the part that I like is changing stuff on my car. Yeah, and feeling differences and seeing differences. It, yeah, yeah. And that, just and that, just and, learning in general. And that is the style of modding too, because I mean, I and what we all have to realize is, while just like there's truck dudes and you know donk dudes and all this stuff, there's a different styles of modding too. Yeah. So and that's why to kind of build off what Al says, um, like if you guys are going to do like a number one, this be like number two, um, plan a plan your build out. Mm-hmm. I think planning your build out will have the greatest success for what you want to do. For instance, if you want to tinker, then you know you have a little bit of leeway. But if like it, like for me, I'm like the guy that I'm going towards an <laughs> end goal. Like I want to um, have this end goal, this finished project, and then I want to drive that. Like that is how I like to. I don't think I ever want a finished project. Yeah, and oh, I because do. then I'll. Right, and, and Ryan does. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's perfect for this conversation. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So like for instance, if we have like, and, and this is why actually I, I use this. I think the LSJ entry level kit is a really good example of this. I mean, I'll, I'll bring that in later. But and when we have a old video like ten things to be have a successful car bill, number one is plan your budget and plan your um, plan what you're trying to do to the car. Yeah, what's your end goal? Yes, what is your end goal? What is you? What are you trying to? What do you want to do with the car? Exactly. If you want to build a road race car, you do not need seven hundred horsepower to go out there in every mile of the planet. You don't need that. Yeah. You don't need. <laughs> You don't right want it up. as a you beginner. You don't want it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if you are trying to build a highway monster, then yeah. You know, you want to build a half-mile car like Al? You know, yeah, you plan your build around that. And you go, say, I'm not going to waste any time with the blower stuff. I'm going to go right to the turbo stuff. You know, mm-hmm. I'm just going to go right there and not worry about any of the other stuff. But you mentioned the entry-level kit, which, which is, a good... is built around. You can do your cooling mods, and some most of what you do with your... LSJ supercharged, you can transfer over to the entry level. Yep. And it's just going to make it that much better. Because if I had an LSJ right now and someone came to me, hey, what are you going to do? I would do all cooling mods first. I'll get your my stealth heat exchanger, a dual pass, no other performance parts on it but besides cooling stuff, and they go right to the entry level kit mm-hmm. immediately. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, do- that's That would be a massive jump for mm-hmm. 98% of people. Yeah. Yeah. But then at, at that point, you've not double bought anything. You have it's all applicable. It. Yeah, you've, you've, gone, you've gone for it, and then that's it. Uh, One uh, point against that I can mm-hmm. think of is I've always been a fan of if you know you want coilover someday, but buying lowering springs today. Put them on, rock the car as is, a year from now buy coilovers. Yeah. You I'm could ki- do that if that's a, what's going to make you happy. I, I'm yeah. kind of in the same boat because I don't like driving stock height yep. stuff. Yeah, I mean. It, but, well, but, especially but cobalt and ions. Yeah. <laughs> like Ooh. the day you buy your car. You buy lowering springs <laughs> because you just spent a lot of money on a car. But you one can't of the first drive things around. I ever bought oh, was were lowering springs. Yeah. yeah. Which which lowering? Okay, around the table. What, what lowering springs? Tyne. First ones I had. Yeah. Well, what's this name of car? GT five hundred. G T five. That's a spring. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Weird. I had H and R lowering springs for the Cobalt. <laughs> if you want to talk about a bad riding co- uh, Ooh, lowering spring, those are the H H R S were the lowest, but woo, I was low. <laughs> uh, so first lowering spring was on the first Saturn, the wagon. Uh, I got H and R's. There you go. And then the first ones on my black car were SS SCs oh, that we SCs, used to yeah. that we used to sell. Best lowering spring that was available for the yeah, Cobalt. It was, it was I, am, pretty uh, good. I will I will were. say a prayer for them because rip rip, rip <laughs> But but yeah, so it's it's one of those things that um yeah I, I definitely see you know buying the buying that now. Yep. But at the same time, like I, I mean, this can be another topic that we can kind of branch off into. I am a save to get what I want kind of guy versus other people are a buy what you can afford buy. So here's yeah. this will be funny. Yeah, th- this is this is a thing. So I'm not the suspension guy, obviously. How many different suspension setups would you guess I've had on the Honey Badger? Fifteen. Mm, nah, six, I'm not that bad. Four. Okay. You guys did better than I thought. I've had five. Hey. Ooh, that's, split the that's, that's not counting the stock. Five so, aftermarket suspension setups. Stock teen. 
KWs. No. It was teen, time, whatever it is. Yep. Teen. Then SSTC takeoffs. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then YYZ. Okay. Yep. Then oh. the off the shelf KWs. Mm-hmm. And then now the custom hodgepodge. <laughs> I don't match the garage sale <laughs> setup that I have on there. The now. Tyler's junk pile ATS <laughs> coil over. And it's yeah. the best performing one I've had on it yet. <laughs> hey. But either way, so I mean and this is I think I think I'm the ob one ob on this table. Because for all the parts I really wanted, I've either saved up a lot or planned like a year budget around some stuff like that. Because and, that, and that's a good way to go. Yeah. But I am not like that at all. Yeah, I like, just I see something, I want to buy it. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm agree. Like I just did that with a computer. I bought a freaking four thousand dollar computer that I can't afford. But you know, um, it is what it is. Yeah, like, I don't think I've ever. I mean, for some of the bigger stuff that I have on the car now, I've saved up for it. But for the most of the time, I was buying the cars. It was all impulse. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did a lot of impulse buying too. So guys, I will say. If you want to be smart about budgeting your car, do not impulse buy. Yep. Impulse buying is really bad. However, we will all, every single one of us will fall to impulse buying. Uh, yeah, yep. everyone will do it. Yes. Well, especially, like you said earlier, the Facebook Marketplace deal. Mm-hmm. Oh, when yeah. it's not what you want, but it's half off. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and Ooh. it's 10 minutes away. This is a good deal. Like, and you're losing today. money if you don't buy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Suddenly, my wife's shopping makes sense. <laughs> yeah. But, Weird. but yeah, like for instance, um, my <laughs> wheels, my first set of wheels, um, my first set of aftermarket wheels were a little bit on cheap. They were OZ Allegretta's. Um, they were not too crazy expensive. So I could, I paid. We are not OZ's we, cheap. We are not the people to talk about wheel no, no, <laughs> prices no, no, no. with. No, no. Back then, <laughs> OZ's were way cheaper. I got, I think I got that full set for like seven, eight hundred bucks. Okay, like it was like okay. really cheap back yeah. then. But it was a legit wheel and all the other stuff. That's so a lot of money for wheels. What the? Heck? That's a lot of money. It is a lot. Of I'm, money. I'm, I'm, I'm not. That's like three cents for Trevor <laughs> <laughs> with tires. Yeah. Um, so, but then, yeah, then I saved up for my NTO threes, yep. Inkies, you know, that was like 1300. I was super excited. Ooh. I had this big plan for those. And after that, I saved up for my advance and that was like a two year project. Mm. I saved, I like put, always put money aside, just put money aside. Hey, yeah, that's, touch and that's good. Like you decided like one day, like I want these, I want those wheels. And then I'm just waited get, two years and then bought uh, yeah, them. I, and, it. and I bought <laughs> it on a black, and I, and, I bl- and I bought it on a black Friday cause I bought it a little sooner than I wanted to actually. Hey, well. but I bought it on a black Friday day. I'm like, Oh, that's Oof. it. Gotta get it. Got to do it, but um, yeah, um, I'm I'm definitely on the page of save up for what you want. Like for instance, if you know on LSJ, if you know you want to go turbo, and you know you're like, oh, I can have fun right now and buy a S3 kit, or mm-hmm. I can go buy a turbo kit. Yep, I'm yeah. saving for the turbo kit. But no offense, but don't buy. over uh, shoot your budget either. Yes, do not like, overshoot your budget. Yeah. Budget your income, know what you have, mm-hmm. and don't say I want to do a big turbo LSJ build. If you know in the next five years, I can't afford it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Set also, up a cool blower build and enjoy it. Like, kind of, yeah. uh, you know, when you buy whatever new car it may be, and, and cobalts are easy to talk about because we've all had them, but try, and this moves into my next point, try and find someone with a car that is similar to what you think you want. Mm. Because a 450-wheel horsepower LSJ is, is way faster than most people think. Yeah. That's and fast. if you're doing a lot of around town driving, it's probably not that fun. No, yeah. it's not. No. A blower car from stoplight to stoplight is a lot more fun than a big turbo car. Yes. Just because of the space. Um, and that, like I said, my next point is make friends within that community. Because, I, I mean, Mike is on here, and I know he hates me, but uh, yeah. almost... <laughs> This new? Yeah, yeah. I say what happened. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're best friends. But almost yeah, all of thing. the interior from my Cobalt is from Mike, and my exhaust is from Mike. And, y- you know, you make relationships with people, mm-hmm. you know. It'll that are mutually beneficial. Yes. <laughs> don't use. We are friends with benefits. Mutually is yeah. the key word there. Yeah, don't, don't be a three pe- hands out. Yeah, don't yeah. use people. Don't be that and, guy. Yeah, because no one likes that. No one likes you coming in and say, well, I'm going to, I'm going to. Sorry, don't woulda, coulda, shoulda, people. Sorry, that's a side note. When you woulda, coulda, shoulda, or and all that, well, I'm going to. That's so annoying. Yeah, and, Stop you that. know, even if you don't have, you know, if you're buying parts from somebody cool, and, and sometimes those transactions are one and done, and you never see that person again, but, you know, lend a helping hand. If Even if it's going to hang out with somebody in a garage, again, create that relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you know, you might not like them in the end, but, like, that could lead to other things 
that will help you in your modding yeah. career, well, we didn't I even guess talk you would say. About most, I'd assume high school kids nowadays factor in, I want X part, I need to factor in labor. Yeah. And bringing it to a yeah, shop. Yeah, labor is, is huge. Yeah. And so, you could just learn things. Yes. Yeah. Jason would say, be realist, realistic with your budget. Because, okay, I. What I love when people do, I, I love when they call me and say, hey, I got this much of a budget. <laughs> I will spend this much. I love that. If you call me and say, hey, I have this. Money is no object. You're lying. You're just straight up lying. Yeah, because any, if, money, if money was no object, you'd have a 1,000 horsepower freaking GTR, GT, GTR whatever. Lambo, whatever. So money is always an object. <laughs> yeah, so, don't call and say you don't have a budget because you do. Everybody has you do. a budget. Um, but no, that is uh, like the high school kids and stuff. That's that's yeah. very like that's yeah, a very good point. Yeah goes back to tools you know it, some people are not mechanically inclined yes. and they and shouldn't is, be working which on their cars is another is, point i was going to bring up i'm going to ask you just, just hop in super quick do not be ashamed of it guys so yeah what, yeah. what, what i'm going to tell you no that, you're, you're saying the same thing i was going to yeah, say because it, it annoys me because a lot of people seem to like try to like well either you know i'll, I'll have a if I had a cap I'll, I'll just throw it in there but they try to you know crap on you or you know, they're trying to look down at you because you may not work on your own you know, car. People throw around this built-not-bought crap as if they were out there mining the raw metal <laughs> to, exactly. to take to the foundry to form their car. Yeah. Yes. Like, and come on. And it's so annoying. Like, and this is holier than that because I built my own car by myself. I didn't have a shop to do it. Well, guess what? In the end, it doesn't matter. No, because it, I, I got told this back in my street racing days. Like, that guy, that kid, the rich kid with the Corvette that's going to go out there and try to race you doesn't care whether you built it or a shop built it. He's yeah. out there to race you, and at, at the end of the day, the results are what's matter. If you have a car that you're happy with and has got what you have got to your point. Well, that, that's the thing. We do this to enjoy it. Yeah. Yes. If, if that path leads to you enjoying the car, I, I don't care. Yeah. I yeah. take personal pride that I'm, I've learned a lot, especially over the last yep. four years, on how to work on these cars. Yeah, and but it, you do not look down on people no. who do that. If, like, if somebody brings their car here and wants us to install their turbo kit and all, you know everything else, great. We're, we're if jealous. you have that money, I, yeah, some days <laughs> I would love to be able to just be like, oh, push it off. Well, and, you know. Years ago, Paul, y'all made a post on Facebook, and I'm, I'm condensing Paul this. Wall? Paul, Paul Wall? Paul Wall. Paul Wall, the injector dynamics guy. I'm sure some of you know <laughs> him. Uh, and I'm, I'm greatly condensing this, but the the summary of it was who came up with this idea that it's somehow less honorable to bust your ass making money yep. than to bust your ass working on your own car. Yeah. Because we all have different skill sets. We're good at different yeah. things. Mm -hmm. If yeah. Ryan wants to work and then pays EZP to put stuff on his car, mm -hmm. good for him. Yeah. If I, instead of working extra if i want to use my time to work on my car then that's, that's what good. i yeah. enjoy yeah. so that ties into the other point that i wanted to make is you really and it took me a lot longer than i wish it had to figure this out you have to learn to put a dollar amount on your time yes, yes. you certainly do yep uh, yeah, that's, that's one that's of the biggest things yep. if and, and it can it can be very simple like if you, say you have a buddy with a tire changer and you want to go put your own tires on. Mm -hmm. If you've never done it before, it's going to take <laughs> <sucks>. you hours. <laughs> it yeah. sucks. Or you can work two hours of overtime. And pay and, your buddy and 50 bucks. pay your buddy to do it. And then you come out ahead yeah. once yeah. you've assigned a dollar amount to, to your value. I mm -hmm. see. It was great. So we're in the, during the time I was originally having ZZP doing a lot of prototype stuff. And I got get access to prototype stuff because I was working with ZZP. I worked three jobs. Yeah, exactly. That's I exactly was, my yeah. point. I, were, I was working at multiple because I was in the zookeeping. So I was working at Brookfield Zoo, working at PetSmart, then I worked at GameStop. I want all three of them, all my extra play money. I had no spare time of my own, but I, I wanted to do, I wanted to build my car and I knew my budget and I yeah, put money so aside for could that. Could you have worked one last job and then learned and installed it yourself and yes, saved that money? 100%. Yeah, but that that's not it's your choice. Yeah. yeah. yeah that, <laughs> so yeah, I, that's I really. That's not the part that he was doing it for. Yeah. yeah. We're tinkerers. You enjoy your yeah, finished car. I, I'm the driver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, enjoy yeah. the, the finished project. So, yes, YouTube Academy. Yep, that's, yeah. that's a great. It's free. Yeah, it's it is. free, guys. It is free. <laughs> but yes, yeah, okay. Going back to talking on a budget. So, um, let's talk about mods, like actual mods that you would do. Mm -hmm. Let's just we're gonna all right, Trevor, pick a car, and we will go Ooh, platforms with how to. We did too much Cobalt. We let's, did a lot of Cobalt. Let's yeah. do some Sonic stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, Sonic okay. is perfect. Mm -hmm. One so, four stuff. Okay. We have a lot of different options Ooh. for coming. Sonic's tough. Yeah, so we, Sonic for doing for this. 
cheap mods to do on a Sonic. Number one, I think no matter what card it is, get your small maintenance done first. No matter yeah, what, no yeah. matter what card it is, do your spark, do your plugs, do all like do your plugs, plugs do your oil change, oil change, cabin filter. Yes, cabin filters cabin slept on. Good cabin filters are slept on. Like you can get six dollars on Rock Auto. Six to eight bucks, and it will make your world a whole. The the previous owners do not know what a aura cabin filter is? will be gone. Did you guys replace them? <laughs> yes. Have you ever taken one out? And yeah, and you throw it, it away because ounces, right, yeah. ounces make pounds. <laughs> ounces make pounds. I, I it, remember it when I just maybe an ounce. <laughs> not when it's been forgotten for eight years. <laughs> true, true. I will say I've done that a uh, fair share. Exactly. I pulled the one out of my eye <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm better off without this. Gone. That's, that's I will one of say, those, like, I'm notoriously bad at changing mine. The Snowball still has its original one from 2009. I am not lying. Well, that's a that's a Eric short clip video. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're not allowed to go look at it beforehand. We got a live yeah, feed. We have to <sighs> see what this looks like. Probably have shrapnel of metal in that. It's that probably movie. gonna bite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really There's, bad about that one. That's on my whenever I buy a new car to flip or work on or whatever. Yeah. That is in the first few things. Is cabin filter. Like this, I go under Rock Auto. Because you know car. it hasn't been changed. Oh no. And well, you pull them out, and you're like, oh, yeah. God. What's crazy is, <laughs> what <laughs> kind of nastiness is this thing the called? The ATS has two. The cobalt has, my snowball has still a original one in it. And your heat and AC will be twice as good. Yes, it will it. work a lot better. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, fuel filter. Uh, LSJs. Uh, Replace yeah, your fuel filter. One. We're $10. talking about Sonics. Oh, yeah. What are you guys doing? Sonics. Sorry. <laughs> Get back. Um, <clears throat> put sand in your turbo, and I'll it'll port the I'll say coil packs, head. because... They're notoriously bad at coil pack yeah. eating. Yes. It's a little expensive. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah for I mean, the Sonic, yeah. bucks. You could save up and get yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. Um, no also, a firm. We have a firm options, too, if you need to do some, some payments. It's a dangerous game. It's a dangerous game. However, if you are responsible. If you're responsible. It's good. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> if you're responsible. <laughs> <laughs> you know that yep. whole no interest for six months? Yeah. Oh. If you're if you're Watch looking out. at it and you're, you're thinking, eh, then don't do it. Yeah. If you have to hesitate and think, oh, I, I really don't think I can afford this in that six months or whatever. Yeah. Then yeah. So yeah. Guys, the first thing that I ever bought on one of those was a couple of JL subs. <laughs> Ooh. On, when in the Cavi? No, this was in the Ion before oh. I had the Cavalier. You had subs in that car? I did. Wow. It sounded good. <laughs> but he doesn't like radios. <laughs> no, he doesn't like radios. No, no, I don't anymore. But you're a music what? guy. Yeah, I it's like headphones. Yeah, true. Because then you can't hear the car rattle. <laughs> you get two birds stoned <laughs> <Yeah>. at once. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Not but wrong. then you can't hear like the ambulances behind yeah. you. Yeah. I'm faster than them anyway. Oh my god! <laughs> you see him coming up. All right, downshift. <laughs> Customers, please do not listen to Al. Do not put headphones in while you're driving. Al does not <laughs> For, drive like on the public l- roadways. Al That's illegal. Yeah. Yeah. The last four or five years, I daily the ion. I had no radio. I just had. Bluetooth headphones that stayed on the rear view. <laughs> so I have a, I had a friend. No, his name. I'm sorry, Ellis, if you're watching. I doubt you are, but Ellis. His, his name is Ellis Jackson. He bought a LSJ. 80- what? <laughs> <laughs> it's E L L I S. It doesn't <laughs> matter. Same as Ellis Jackson. Ellis J. Oh my god. So anyway, <laughs> he um he bought like an '89 Integra, and he was like, and I, when I when he took me to go, what with, that cabin filter look like? Oh. So no, he bought this in this like early t- like early two thousands, and he took me to look go look at the car, and I'm like, dude, I don't know, this thing doesn't look like a good buy. It was really cheap. He's like, and, like, dude, it had no radio in it. Like it was like wires just hanging out there. I was like, dude, it doesn't even have a radio. Like you want to cruise and listen to some music? He's like, no, the I, all I want to hear in uh, when I'm driving is the sound of my my nasty aspirated D sixteen <laughs> revving to the moon. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Within three weeks, he came back. He was like, "I am so you are so right. I'm such an idiot." I'm My like, naturally aspirated D six. No one years. wants to hear that. I'm, he did. <laughs> oh no. He did. Uh, so Sonic, uh, f- other than coil packs, although I will say, Sonic guys, if anybody's listening, um, if your coil packs are going bad often. Pull off the connector off the PCM. I think it's the middle one that controls the ig- the ignition. Uh, and I bet if you pop the the whatever you call it assurance assurance off, yep. uh, it'll be corroded in there. Oh, and ooh. that's what's blowing your coil packs. Clean her off. Clean her off with in. some uh, WD40. Uh, not okay. actual WD40, but WD40 electrical connector spray. 
Scrub it off. I'm good. Hmm. That, was a, a, that was a good pop. Look, that was, maintenance. That was a good pop. It's like nice. maintenance is a cheap mod. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, most modern cars, I would say probably your best bang for the buck is a tune. Yes. Like an ATS, Camaro, any LTG, uh, f- Sonic. Any modern, yeah, anything. Boosted car. Boosted really. car is really going to be the PCM Sonics are uh, torque-based, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. It's yeah, so Sonic's same really, thing. like, from LNF up. Yeah. Yes. If you're budget and want a little more power, tune is really the it's, first thing like on the list. It's like 40 horsepower right off the, right off the get-go. And, and if you tune with someone like us, then the updates are discounted for yeah. when you do add mods down the road. Mm-hmm. And I know it's pricey up front, but buy HP tuners. If you yes. plan on keeping the yes. car a long time. Yeah. Yes. yes. It, yeah. D- it, it'll don't be better. screw around with sending your PCM in for updates over and over and over again. Like, just just buy it. Get yeah. it done. It's a great monitoring tool. Good Fire for diagnostics. If for some reason you change your mind down the road, HP tuners resell for minimal loss. Yeah, yeah, almost nothing. Yeah, yeah. So stonks, stonks. <laughs> yeah, bing bong. So um, I yeah. got two more ready. How about you guys? Two more for mods. Yeah. Sonic mods. Mm. I'm well, going let's, let's short go. shifter. Oh, okay. And I'm going base bushings. Coolant temp gauge. <laughs> or an Aero Four. <laughs> yeah, that should be number one on Ooh, any Aero, Sonic Aero customers. Force, yeah. uh, it's pretty good. Something to monitor the yeah. coolant tower because it will. Is pretty good bang for buck on any car, though. It will overheat. It re- <laughs> yeah, it reads it reads codes, deletes codes, yep. and does a bunch of other stuff. A lot of monitoring. Um, I think that on any car, um, the base bushings. Any of our manual yeah. cars Ooh, we deal with, they're the only twenty bucks. About those. The base bushings are amazing. Sonic and LSJ and LNF, they're and all I, amazing. Especially lately, I am really big on shifter feel and yes. improving that. And it's not that hard, and it's not that expensive. And it, it, we're all about. Yeah, I mean, we're car guys. We're all about a, the sensory things. And base bushings are twenty bucks. It removes the rubber. Yeah. Your cable clamp for a Sonic is sixty dollars. It captures that rubber. Yep. So why have rubber when you could have metal? Yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah, then, that's, that's a good point. General consumers like soft and sloppy. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how GM has to make it. They have to make it soft and sloppy. So you're right. The the cost versus the amount of benefit that you get from it that is actually a mm-hmm. pretty yeah. cost effective. I would say I would say that the base bushes are probably one of the best bang for buck mm-hmm. for yeah. daily driving. Super, and super stuff. easy install. I would not do a uh, short shifter until you do those. J Jaguar, the, the GM yeah. Stage Two and ZZP Stage Two are completely unrelated. Hundred mm-hmm. percent different. Fully different. ZZ performance is better. Yeah. Uh, GM like stage. any any company's stage is going to be irrelevant to to someone else. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of stage kits, well, I think stage kits are a great idea for people on budgets. Well, that's Ooh. why they exist. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Because stage kits. So, by the way, guys, this is side rent. We're going to make a video about it too. Stage kits are arbitrary because if you go up to a guy from a totally different vehicle and yeah. say you have a stage five, whatever, stage he two. that is irrelevant to everybody <laughs> because they have there's no point of context. Yeah. So if you go to me, yeah, it doesn't mean uh, yeah. anything in the terms of a ladder. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm stage five. Know. A stage five can be a pulley and a downpipe, depending on what company that you're getting from. You mm-hmm. get you're you're not like some magical huge horsepower number guy. So mm-hmm. stop going to meets and stop saying you're stage three. Like Intense used to have a stage five for the LSJ. <laughs> yeah. They still the do. only difference it was from our stage three is it blew the car up. <laughs> 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 they still sell it. They you can get it, it with a two cent pulley. And it's, pulley. it's a different company now. So uh, yeah, who knows? But but yeah. So stop guys. Stop going to car meets saying you're stage this or I got a stage six clutch. That, that, that stage is, WTF. Yeah. Stage Brett, WTF. stage sixty nine is obviously the best. Oh, of course. Probably. <laughs> but um, yeah. Stage kits are great bargain deals, guys. Um, you know, you get a a bunch of mods for a little bit of discounted price. So, like, for instance, on these, um, if I was mining a 3800, I get stage two kit immediately because it's all parts you're going to use later. I, not just Sonic in general, but almost every car, I would say one of my favorite and first mods is going to be an intake mm, because yep. induction yep. noises are great. Mm-hmm. Yes. Turbo car, you get yeah. blow-off valve, <laughs> you get your turbo whistle, you get all that. Blowers, you get the wine. <laughs> Although I personally would keep the stock intake until the turbo's upgraded, because I don't nah. I don't like stock turbo sounds. Mm. What really? It's it sounds like the like the 1974 first revision hand dryer from a truck stop bathroom. <laughs> they're just they're just not good. They don't whistle like a big turbo. No, they don't. But no, I I I, I would disagree with you. For I, like the first I would time do. Honor, I still do an intake. I first. would do intake 
a hundred percent over an exhaust. Yes. Now I'll, I'll agree with that. Now being thirty one, when yeah. I was sixteen, you remember, I didn't. Al, this is everyone's like probably first turbo car they've owned. Yes. So right. Saws all the muffler off. <laughs> can you don't? Can, okay, don't do that, please. <laughs> Block the downpipe, 180 degrees, cut a hole. Put it out the hood. <laughs> okay, now, go. let's just... Uh-oh. Jay Jaguar. What? You're asking on a ZZP podcast <laughs> with all ZZP employees if we think our stuff is better than someone else's. Oh, yeah. Does It doesn't <laughs> matter what we answer. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. it's not a, it's impossible for us to answer that in an unbiased way. Of course, we think the stuff's better. That's why we choose why to we be work here. here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Minnesotan, we are coming out with stage kits for the Kappa cars. Mm-hmm. And yeah. LNF cars. And we're going to go up to stage seven. We're oh. also doing um, the no, Kappa cars and probably trickling out elsewhere suspension stage kits. Oh. That's an interesting one. What? Okay. Yeah, we are. Yep. I didn't know that either. <laughs> okay. Welcome aboard, cool. Tyler. <laughs> All right. You're the. Tyler? But he's the suspension guy. <laughs> yeah. Tim, Tim and I came up with this. We were like, Surprise. we'll talk about it with Tyler later. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. But uh, but yeah, guys. So I mean, there's another. That's you know a few things you can do. Like I think stage kits are. Uh oh. Uh yeah. So I think stage kits are a good way to just get in to get all your basic mods you're gonna use throughout most of your build. Um. Mm-hmm. Like in the LS, LSJ stage three, you know, the um, stage um, one for the Sonic. I mean, stage two for the Sonic even. It's all stuff you're going to keep using throughout your whole entire build. Yeah. Well, and if you don't really know what you're doing, you don't know a lot about cars, our, at least our stage kits are, hey, this is a fun setup yeah. yep, for this price point. We know you'll make We've some good it. power. It's, yeah. It's yep. safe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Joel Maskey, he's a perfect stage kit yep. guy. No thinking involved. Yep. No, just, like just – here company send me parts that will make me faster and we yep. go okay here you go yep <laughs> okay here mm-hmm. so stage kids for the 2-2 uh no we do not have stage kids for the 2-2 oh. uh, for many reasons uh uh mike that's a oh my God, richly that's jetted mike. 35 shot uh, that's, that, that's your stage <laughs> yeah that that's what kid. we run on is, the 2-2 is that mike johnson okay <laughs> yeah uh brett the hhr aluminum rad is still in the works and hopefully coming here soon yeah, nice. something mm. something I've been working with Henry with. For nice. sure. Um, but yeah, so I mean, other than that, um, let's see. So we've t- covered like engine performance. Brandon Del Ponte, no. Yep. The stock LNF exhaust is pretty good. Oh, um, yeah, it's back, better than the uh, stock LSJ for sure. Yeah. Pretty much all of our front wheel drive one cars. Later in, in your mod. Rear sway bar. Yeah. Yes. Rear sway bar is huge. Yeah, rear if you're going to turn. If you like turning, if you rear like turning sway bar. In any capacity, the I rear even sway did bar. that pretty early on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the, they're really affordable through oh, us. Super affordable. Our, our Cobalt bucks. rear sway bar is like $120. Yep. That, that like we said in that one video, is one of the biggest noticeable differences yep. in the way your car drives. Mm-hmm. And if you're a drag race dude just going dead straight, take them off. Yeah, take them yeah, off. Take it off. <laughs> you get a free mod, actually. So. Oh, yeah, free mod. Yeah, take it off. If you guys are going straight and you want to build <laughs> you, you put on a free mod. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do a little bit of one degree toe out, you'll be good. Yep, self steer. Oh, uh, speaking of tow and suspension, one Only thing toes? that uh, Max Lemur's not on here. So oh, that's right. Uh, <laughs> one thing that is often slept on Ooh, and what your thing? can be hard to do on a budget, but good tires. I thought you were gonna say alignment. I thought you were gonna say uh, alignment. Yeah, too. alignment. Yeah, I was gonna say alignment. I'm like, yeah, alignment is uh, a really yeah, good alignment. Yeah, alignment. Sixty bucks for bell tire. Alignment. Uh, right. But saving up for some good tires. Yeah. Is will make a but lo- noticeable difference. You think like a Cobalt, a Sonic, Grand Prix, if you just care about driving on the street and beating people next to you, just get two good front tires. If that's yeah. all you care about, yeah, like yeah, it's, it's yeah, a I'd, pretty good deal. I, for, wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest it, but yeah, get two good front uh, ones. Yeah, I mean, spend 300, yeah. 300 bucks, bucks. On, on some nice fronts. Well, no, a lot of no, people... No, a big rear sway bar and 600 Treadwear 185s are right that up Trevor's like, alley. That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that would be perfect for Trevor. On yeah. a 11-inch drive? wide wheel. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sprint, um, the only coupons that we have are on our yearly Black Friday sale. So if you come around on Black Friday, you will get discounts along with everybody. Sorry, man, we don't do coupons. Well, not everybody. Till, till supplies last. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, and Brett, uh, I'll actually disagree with you. I don't. I don't think most normal people should be driving on a triple X sway bar. I think at the most a hardcore bar or a ZZP bar. The triple X bar, 
you should not drive on if you are on just a normal street car yeah. and you just think you're going to go out and do some crazy stuff. Cause... Easy, easy on that brake pedal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, Delta cars like to whip around. Yes, they uh, do. 300 horsepower cruise, mostly everything we say about the Sonic will apply yeah. to a cruise. Uh, it's like Kleenex. A... When we say Sonic, we mean 1.4. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's expensive. Expensive in terms of mods for them, but a V3 turbo on um, any of the ones. Well, especially when the stock one's going to fail eventually anyway. Yeah, yeah it's the stock fail, it's literally have crack. a stock problem. They're going to fail. Uh, v3 is a great bang for the buck. Oh, yeah. more It makes more power in stock, spools faster in stock. Yep, reduces Everything. back pressure. It's, yeah, it's, it's one of my creations that I'm the most satisfied with. Yes. Well, on that point, Another thing that I always do when I get a new car is figure out the failure points of your car. You know? Yeah. Cobalts have terrible front proper control arms. Re- proper research. Yep. Yeah. Proper and then, research. well, that's true. Because like, then those you know you buy an upgrades. LSJ yeah. or LNF, you do timing on it. Yep. yep. <laughs> do the upgraded timing bolt. Yep. yep. Change your fuel filters. Do our new upcoming timing products. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I do agree. Like, actually, I think, you know, a lot of, it, a lot of modding and stuff can be mental. Because if you go in with proper research and like looking into like stuff that fails, so you know what's coming up, you can prevent it and save yourself a lot of money. Look at the first sixteen episodes of Tyler's <laughs> LSJ build series. <laughs> Preventative yeah. maintenance, yeah. yeah, but upgrades like at uh, the same and time. and on that planning out uh, failure points. Noah says, "What about a clutch? Uh, if you're if you're especially an LNF, if you're planning to do anything, do a clutch." Do a clutch. Yeah. It's going to fail. Yeah. It's if gonna you blow bought up. a car with 160K on it, original you wanna, clutch. You want like... a clutch. And you don't know how the person before you were driving, they went around the clutch with their foot halfway on the, on exactly. the clutch pedal, like driving and glazing the clutch. <laughs> I, I know she's down. not watching, but one of Erica's friends, the one with the spark, oh, it's a little five-speed manual sp- spark. She And she will admit she has absolutely no idea how to drive a manual. <laughs> and her stock <laughs> clutch on her spark what? lasted 60,000 miles. Jesus. On a car that makes all of 70 torque. So she owns and dailies this car and does not know how to drive manual. Still to this day. I, I've ridden with her, and it's not great. But gets the job done. Gets the job done. <laughs> it's a lot of slip. We're moving fifth. I will say. <laughs> I'm not, this, this, is, this is very different because I had a manual spark, and they are really, really easy to drive. Like, you can let that clutch out and do whatever you want, and it's just going to engage. It just yeah, you, you don't have to give it any gas. Nope. You can just you could be sitting there and just wham off of the clutch, and you're okay. Here we go. Yep, <laughs> it's really? not harsh. Oh it's no, not, it is it, the easiest car. So the, the, the bone stock Sonic is about the same way. Yeah, it's yeah. got that diverter valve. It's not going to release it too fast, and uh, but what brand of oil? Whatever is cheapest. <laughs> Delete I'm, your diverter valve. There's a I, free mod for uh, you. I run Maxima Synthetic. Yeah. I am a Mobile One guy, so I use Mobile One ESP and Mobile One. They all mobile change one. their stuff constantly. It's they the, do. just the bottle that stays the same. So, like, pick a reputable name brand. Yeah. The one thing I will say, though, is stick with the brand. Yeah. Yes. yes. Stick with the brand and a type because yep. a lot of times you can have circumstances where the additives between different manufacturers will react with each other. Yep. Yeah, so whatever you want, just go there. Just yeah, run Gordon, I just got the 615Ks for my daily driver ATS. Yeah. Not too bad. Um, uh, Caddy V, we were at US 31 yeah. last week. Matt was. Um, I, don't think was I don't think there was a Sonic there. Was there a Sonic there? I don't think so. But oh, I'm, Tim probably drove his Sonic. Oh, Tim, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, our uh, Matt drove his ATS 2-liter uh, and obliterated the stock turbo record. Yep. So By seven-tenths of a second. Yep. <laughs> On a crappy 60 foot. Yep. And the car not really set up for it. He, actually, Matt and I are going to trade this because the manual cars have uh, limited slip. Limited slip. So I'm like, oh, yeah. I care more about Matt going fast. Here, take my diff. I'll take the open diff one. So, so yeah, he's going to run 10s here in about two weeks. Yep. Yeah. It'll be pretty good. On a stock turbo. On a stock turbo. Remember when everyone said that CZP couldn't run 10s on a stock turbo LNF? <laughs> and then Matt and we did. did. It. And then when everyone said that we couldn't run 10s on a stock turbo and an LTG? And then we're gonna do it again. We're about to do it. Yeah, Matt likes the the nose. Yeah, we all. You tell Matt no. Watch me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Matt. That's the same way the Sonic got where it's at. Yep. yep. Yeah, that's there it. was a almost a fight in the office. <laughs> yep. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It was with Zoom <laughs> yeah, about what Zoom Sonic can and can't do. Yeah, because someone around here, I'm not gonna mention any names, not at this table. They said it would never happen, and Dad 
Zoom yeah, got are. P.O. He's like, don't. And he's like, never say never. Yep. Yeah. And uh, uh, the Sonic is about to go 10. So, Brett, <laughs> yes. well, federal, stop. RSRRs. Stop. Uh, <laughs> federal, stop please sponsor us. I just offended you, by the way. Also, federal, please come federal, back. Federal, please sponsor come, us. Come back to the. <laughs> Shout to the federal. U.S. <laughs> We're on a two-year ban. It's terrible. Come we'll find a way to get Wait, you what? back. Yeah. I, I. So the reason why you can't find federals anymore. Yeah. And I. It was one of the. Because they were kicking everyone's butt. Two podcasts ago, I, it was. I was on a five-minute rant at the end. Uh, federal got in trouble by the U.S. government for what they call tire dumping, and it's for selling tires too cheap. It's the U.S. government listening what? to our podcast. Yep. <laughs> Our FBI agents wait, are what? all over this. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wait. they got banned because they're too cost effective. So, any I, I, any federal almost, tire, almost literally yes. any federal tire that you buy right now is new old stock. They from 2021 to 2023, what? I think they are banned from selling tires in the U.S. And when they come back, they have to be more expensive. What kind of government BS mm-hmm. is that? Wow. Yep. yep. And what I don't understand is how is like Kendra and Lionheart and all those other companies getting away with it? Federal must have been that much because m- they're actually good. Good, yeah. Yeah. For the price. Y- yeah. Um, you know, they're they're not ten out of ten the fastest two hundred treadwear, but no, no. they are nine out of ten and you're paying a quarter of the cost. So. Yeah, Kendra's great. Hey, Nathan, great we are aware space. from that. We are we already aware. We already got all the stuff we already got all the stuff to do all that. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <sighs> but, yeah. So, uh, yeah, what about Kendis? See, he's 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 on top of yeah, it. Yeah, Nathan, also, yeah, the Camaro ones are different. We tried to Camaro stuff a little later, but we're going to do ATS to ATS, so it, it, should, it won't be too bad. Uh, Anthony Wagner, the 1-4 in the tracks is the same 1-4 in the Sonic and the Cruise. The only thing that's different is the did they after the downpipe back. Did they swap to the LE2 later or no? Nope. The did tracks they? was always the the – uh, the LEJ slash LUV? Yes. Okay. Thank you. No problem. I got you. Um, I don't know the standard version. Everyone, uh, two, did I ever last... tell you guys about the bagged tracks that I saw? Uh-huh. Bagged tracks. I think you sent a picture. That'd be cool. It was at a gas station in Angola, Indiana. When oh. I was on, when I was yeah. uh, still oh, living in, in Indiana. Huh? In person, you said? Yeah, I didn't know it was a tracks. Like, I walked out of the gas station, saw it out of my periphery, and it stopped and turned. And I was like, hmm, what is this? It looks good. <laughs> and I walk around behind the car, and it's a tracks. Huh. Huh. Yeah, that's and, like, I don't still have the picture, and I don't, like, have it burned into my brain, but I remember staring at it and be like, how does this not look like a tracks? Because I remember it didn't have, like, an obvious body kit or anything like that. Mm-hmm. It was just, like, lay just in frame. <laughs> In Lowering front a car of a is one cool. of the best aesthetic mods you can and do. It, yep. Just the yep. car was clean and had good wheels. And I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I can see it. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, guys. I mean, there's a lot of good ways to, to, you know, mod your car. But let's yeah. just go over them again just for everyone to have and to reference back later. Um, plan your bill. Plan your know bill. what you're getting into. Plan your budget. And do know your t- what you're actually yeah. trying to get out of it. Yes, mm-hmm. and then because my, like Tyler and I learned, we like the process. Yep. So, yeah, there are things that we have bought and rebought, but we can't really look back at it as the wasting money on parts because we were in, investing in our learning, our knowledge. Yeah, mm-hmm. and yeah. and that's something that everyone will figure out along the way. I mean, some some dudes might do their first mod by themselves and be like, oh, I hate this. I hate working yeah. on this thing. Now, if any of you out there have this idea that Al is a child set out on this <laughs> mission to have the world's fastest Saturn ion, you couldn't be further from the truth. Yeah. It's just what I had, and it allowed me to tinker. Yep. My The only reason I have a Cobalt is because I wanted my first car, I wanted a 350Z. Not enough money to buy a 350Z. But I, my dad said, you have no Jap crap in this household <laughs> and i'm like oh and then these people most morning came out i'm like oh it's a cobalt okay so then i literally just worked with what i had yeah because mm-hmm. and the mo- one of the most common things i get you have man i hate cobalt but i really love this one and that's like the biggest comment in the world like okay mm-hmm. i made one cool that you can actually enjoy your it, 350z so. never would have been as fast as the snowball that is <clears> no. possibly true <laughs> possibly but like no even even the first time i compounded my car like 
it wasn't because I wanted to compound something. It was because I had an S three sixty two on the car and it was fast as snot. Happens dance. And I was like, What do I do? <laughs> How do I make it spool faster? And then well, it wasn't even that. I was just like I I got no mods left. <laughs> I got to, this is what I want the car to do, and now I'm bored. And then I was a dealer for, for a place that sold Borg Warner at the time, and they had a leftover S246. They offered me for half price, and I was like, okay, 300 bucks. I can take this. Hey, put Brett. It in there. Yeah. Hey, Brett, we, um, we probably will not be doing a Donna Day this year because, once again, a few years ago, we tried, and the Ecotech guys didn't show up, and the 300 guys, there was like a thousand. I'm exaggerating, but there's a thousand thirty hundreds and like four Ecotechs. Sorry, yep. you guys just didn't show up, and I maybe a bet. maybe someday we might yeah. have an all platform Dino Day, but yeah, we are running at <laughs> full capacity. Oh yeah, right plus now some. too. Yeah, we can. to be able to plan that and execute yeah. it right now. Yeah, it like it's work. guys the way the state of the world. Oh, and by the way, just just a, just a quick razz, guys. Uh, we appreciate those of you who have been patient, but those of you who are not patient, please be patient. <laughs> Because we are trying. Ryan has to deal with it. Because I have to deal with it. And number one, please, guys, know the state of the world right now. now I, mo- there are people who are wish they were getting their intakes in four days when it takes us to ship like one for four days. We ship it like next day. So, yeah, like just be patient. We'll we'll do our best to help you out. You know, parts will come as soon as well because we want you to have your parts as much as you want your parts. So we don't want it here. We don't want you canceling your order, et cetera, et cetera. Dude, that's yep. one of the most ridiculous things. When I hear a, a customer call come in and they're like yelling at you, accusing you of intentionally withholding their parts. It like, happens. What more would than that what benefit us? benefit do we get from that? <laughs> Zero percent benefit. Yeah. Like we have no benefit to holding your part. We and want this it happens out. way more than you guys would think. Yes. So please be patient. The kind you are that helps us make sure you guys, our orders get out. A lot easier. Yeah. Um, then, yeah, it just helps us to work with you better. So just be patient. Know the state of the world right now. Know that other markets wish, wish that they can get parts as fast as you guys are getting. Sidebar, I always, I'm always, i going to bring it up every podcast I'm on right now. Do you guys know how much a front mount intercooler kit is for a Subaru? <laughs> Do you guys know how much one is for a Subaru? $1,500. Bucks. No, no. That's a discounted dented one. The cheapest one is like $1,700. Yep. Almost 2000 So, with guys, charge pipes and everything. With charge, with charge pipes, intercooler. You guys, wow. we have parts for you. You can get a full LMF one for seven hundred. Our seven Sonic minutes. one is five hundred dollars. Our ATS and Sonic and one is like five to six hundred too. Guys, <laughs> we are doing our best to pass on the <laughs> savings to you. Imagine every other market being a bajillion more dollars. Just imagine having to get your first mod, your intercooler kit, and it being twice as much. Two grand, yeah. Too much. Two grand. What the heck? Like, come on, like, guys, every other part for every other platform is expensive. Every other part. Intake for a Supra, like, freaking $900. <laughs> AMS whatever, $2,000. AMS anything. Anything. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, AMS anything. Yeah. Uh, Rocky, no, we don't know the standard ring gap for a 2-2. Uh, if you really want, contact one of the piston manufacturers, like JE or Wesco. And or whoever made your pistons. Yeah, and they will have recommended ring gaps. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. It'll Based on use. Based on use, it'll be very standard for that bore, typically. So, um, sorry we couldn't help you out more. But yeah. uh, I got some things to do this weekend. Yep. I think it's doing? time to. What are, what are we all doing this weekend? Let's wrap uh, it up. I've got my buddy's bachelor party. Two minutes go. away from my house. Yep. Two minutes away from Ryan's house. If you do not come and prank me or come <laughs> see chemistry, I'm literally going to be upset. <laughs> chemistry would love to see you. I, I talked my, about my Alaska Malibu. We should uh, we should kidnap chemistry and then send you a photo. Be like, please ransom. I <laughs> do you want your husky back? We need Don't hash browns. Whoever, <laughs> he is not a husky. <laughs> Give me all these hash browns. <laughs> okay, if you, I will keep his harness on. If you want to come steal him, just come knock on the door and I will give him <laughs> just, to you. you. Yeah, all right. Here you go. He's fine. Ryan, what are you doing? Um, so it's um, my ex girlfriend's away for the weekend. So it's me and Isaiah. We have matching dinosaur pajamas. For those of you who are friends with me on Facebook, that's fantastic. You will That's see our great. matching dinosaur pajamas, mm-hmm. and they are amazing. Uh, so we're going to hang out. Uh, one of my friends, uh, Austin, maybe come over tonight, and he needs he's never built a model kit, so I'm going to help him build a model kit. Um, okay. This Saturday or Sunday, like a uh, model, model? model? Huh? Like a car model? Like you, you yeah, it's a model. Yeah, model kit. Oh. Yeah, he, never, he, like, he doesn't know how to like, do the nippers and all that stuff. Oh, and the yeah, sanding yeah, and all yeah, that okay. stuff. So it's actually a car model. I think it's, uh, I think it's um, Celine. 
oh, really cool. what he needs help with. So, Sweet. I used to uh, like so yeah, I'm going to do that. I was not good at those. <laughs> I, that's, one, that's one of my weird, your, weird Your hands are too big. That's fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my weird skill sets. I have it. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, it's Mama Snowball's coming over yep. uh, this weekend to hang out. And I don't know what else I'm doing after the Saturday. It's going to kind of see what happens. All right. Nice. Bachelor nice. life. Al, any big plans? You got Work, big plans tonight? Working on Badger stuff tonight. Any Badger? Going to the gym in the morning and then down to Indiana for the weekend. Nice. Ooh, nice. Oh, sorry. Side point. Um, the snowball may new turbo, I believe, was ordered today. Ooh. Oh yeah. Snowball's new turbo. Is <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Now I got to work on that too. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so by the way, guys. So FY, uh, Al and Tyler or and Trevor. Actually, this is a, the corporation is here. Actually, this <laughs> yep. is great. Yep. yep. They are withholding stuff from me, and I'm not be able, I'm not able to make choices. We so. seized control of the snowball's build plans. Yeah, yep. because I had a build plan, and it wasn't what they wanted. So it was like, a hostile takeover. It was a hostile was, takeover, yep. and uh, I have no idea what's happening. So it's supposed to be a surprise, and we'll probably make a video about it or something. I don't know. We'll we did give Ryan thirty percent share, though. Yeah, yeah, but what sucks is <laughs> the rest of them have together have more more share than I was like twenty two, twenty two. It's thirty, twenty, twenty, twenty. Yep. Yeah, because Bo's still and then Bo get, Abby is like five and Bo's five. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, so then yeah, I so technically I have the most share of this of this whole plan in my car. But it doesn't matter. But it doesn't we can matter always be because, to you. Yeah. But if you can convince one of us. I can miss one of you. Then, then you, yeah, that's you cool. haven't done that yet. I have not because you have bad <laughs> you guys are the worst. We are. Yep. <laughs> oh, they, on that note, what are you, what are you what doing, doing Trev? I'm just doing Easter stuff, All hanging right. out with families. There you go. Oh yeah, that's right. It is Easter weekend. Yep. I had it Easter is. last weekend, so my weekend's a little off. All oh. right. Well, happy Easter, everyone. Yeah, yep. Happy, happy Easter. Easter. Bing bong. Bing, Bing bong. bong. See you guys next week. Okay. Bye. <laughs>